So if I could really just give you a couple words of advice, I would probably say internships are really important. Um, I was an undergrad and I never really had an internship, but I worked. And I worked both in retail, I worked at restaurant, I worked at a cell phone place back in the day when you programmed your cell phone to work for a particular carrier. Although I didn't have a technical internship in my career, I was working and I was doing things. And that actually helped out a lot when it, when it finally came down to getting a job because as an electrical engineer, my first engineering job, I was doing a lot of mechanical stuff and working in the shop with people. You come out and you work with, with individuals that have been in the field for 25, 30 years and you want to have that experience of actually working with people outside of engineering and having different types of demands and working with different types of customers. And any sort of job that you get along the way helps you stand apart when it comes time to look for your next job or your first job in this particular case. Time management is something I still struggle with every day. I mean, I have a lot of work to do, right? There's never a point in time where I have no work. There's always more work to do. But how do I make sure that I manage my time effectively and still keep my sanity, right? I can work 70 hours a week if need be, or I can work my 50 or 40 hours and still have a personal life. And I'm sure in undergrad, you struggle with that, right? I mean, you still want to have a personal life and do well in school. It's, it's difficult to do. And it took me a long time to figure it out. My first semester at Penn State, I had 17 credits as an undergrad. Now, high school was easy. There was really no real effort that I had to put into actually doing well in high school. But here I am at Penn State, taking 17 credits my first semester and not doing well at all. So hard lesson learned. How to readjust my priorities, readjust how many courses I took. If you drop below full time, there's different financial constraints that you have to worry about. Some of you have to work during undergrad. Everybody has a different situation. Everybody finds the, the recipe or the solution that works best for them. There is no one recipe. 